So I'm going to start by placing a large pan on a medium heat and add in half a cup of sunflower oil or vegetable oil, salid ade, whatever you call it. Um, I'm then going to add in half a chopped onion and when my onion starts to brown a little bit I'm adding in a frozen garlic and ginger cube. It's basically crushed garlic and ginger that's been frozen. If you're using it fresh a teaspoon of each is fine. I'm then going to add in some hawash bris, which is basically a mixture of all of the spices that you'd use if you're making Somali rice. I'm then going to add in um, some chicken stock powder or malak digag. Um, I know some people aren't a fan of using malak digag or this chicken stock powder, so if you want you can substitute that with uh, universal vegetable seasoning. Um, I'm then adding in my thoroughly, thoroughly washed and soaked for at least one hour, well I usually go for an hour, um, Sela Basmati rice. Now for the tricky part which is adding in the water and a lot of people struggle and I struggled a lot with how much water I should add to my rice. So the formula that I use is basically like a one to one ratio. So if I'm making three cups of rice, I use three cups of hot water. So I've added in three cups of hot water straight from the kettle, giving the rice a good, good stir just to make sure that all the flavour and seasoning and onions and everything is well distributed. The heat at the moment is on high just so that the water can come up to a boil. And as soon as it does that, I'm going to basically put a lid on it, turn the heat down to low and leave it for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to take off the lid and as you can see, a lot of the season has kind of floated to the top of the mixture and kind of settled at the top. So I'm going to give that a good mix again, just like I said, to just make sure that the um, flavour and all of that is like well distributed. You don't want half your rice to be salty, the rest of it to not taste like anything. Um, now this particular rice is called cellar rice and the good thing about it is when you stir it, it doesn't break up easily. So yeah, as you can see, all those grains looked very strong and independent. I left the lid on it, turned the heat, well the heat was still on sort of low um, and about 10 minutes later, give you a little close up, you can see the rice is pretty much done. You can see how sort of uh, fluffy looking and just delicious it is. They're not broken up, they're not stuck together, fantastic. So moving on, I'm going to put the lid on that and leave it to the side. Time to make our suqar. So again, I'm going to start with a sort of medium-sized saucepan, added in a quarter cup of oil, added in my beef cubes, and a spoon or teaspoon of malak digag, again, or jumbo chicken seasoning. Um, and then I'm going to give that a stir. Now, usually what will happen is the meat will produce its own juices. So you want to cook it until all of the juices evaporate and you've just got this, the meat and the uh, oil left together. I've then added in my onions and garlic. Uh, and then I'm going to follow that with my vegetables. So one potato, one carrot, and then I'm going to stir those together and put a lid on it. I'm going to leave that to cook just so that the potatoes and the carrots can soften for about eight minutes. And then I'm taking the lid off and adding in my curry powder and my universal vegetable seasoning. This is what you can use instead of jumbo for the rice, by the way. So yeah, adding those two in, gonna give them a good stir, like I say all the time, give everything a good stir. And I'm gonna add in my chopped uh, bell pepper. Again, again, as you can guess, gonna give it a good stir. And then uh, crush in some fresh, freshly ground black pepper. I'm then gonna turn the heat up to about medium. Um, and let this cook for a couple of minutes just so that everything can start to absorb those flavors Now after about five minutes of cooking, I've added in half a cup of hot water What I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see you want to make sure that you scrape down the sides of your pan Because all of those sort of bits that have stuck to the bottom of the pan or the sides of the pan there You can see if you scrape them down it adds such great flavor to your dish So make sure you do that and then put a lid on it and leave it on medium low for about 10-15 minutes And as you can see it's starting to look really good your vegetables are going to soften and cook um, obviously that's the whole point and then uh, what do I do at this point yeah I'm gonna add in some parsley so if you were serving this with um, like anjero or roti or if you just wanted to have it like sort of by itself I would turn off the heat now while it's got enough water in it um, add in your parsley and just turn off turn off the heat 
Um, but because we're having this with rice, I'm going to leave it to cook just for a little while longer, just so that some more of that water can evaporate because we don't want it to be too, too saucy. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Now going to plate it up. So my little brother Ayub was in the kitchen um, at the time. So yeah, he's going to receive this first plate. And as you can see, the bris is looking great, guys. It's not stuck together. I can assure you it tasted awesome. Uh, there's the sukar as well, not too dry, not too saucy, just the perfect, um, just the perfect combination. Just look how amazing that looks. Delicious. Baris, yeah, he looks. Are you? Can you describe what's on your plate today? I've some no shake. Sahanke wa hasar. Baris. Hey. Ojala. Baris ojala. Hey. He looks. Hey. Hey, mahakala. Batati. Mhm. Carrot. Hey, carrot. Ah, carrot. Hey. Red pepper. Bruni, all the bruni. Basal. Hey. Okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Mashallah, khatata. You deserve this meal. Bon appetit. Before you go. Okay, can you give us a taste test before you go? Hey, mahalas ko khadna. Wahir bris. Wahir bruni. Carrot. Why are you getting a bit everything? I see you, boo. هيا هيا بسم الله عليه هات إيه إيه مان إيه مان alright so can you give the camera a thumbs up a bit lower okay hope you guys try this out hope you enjoy bon appetit you see you guys next time